Hey guys, so today is a little bit different. I wanted to do a quite a special vlog that means a lot to me at least. And um, so in case you didn't know, I'm a huge, huge fan of Jimi Hendrix. Uh, he's pretty much, him and Carlos Santana tied are the reasons that I picked up the guitar in the first place and definitely the reasons I continue to play. And if there's anything that anybody likes in my playing, it's because it's derived from Carlos Santana or Jimi Hendrix and I just put, fused them in my own way kind of. And um, so I have a, lovely 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 fantastic wonderful friend um, from the US and I've never met this man but he has been watching my videos for since I'd probably say since the very beginning of, of my YouTube career or since the very early days anyway and uh, so I'm extremely grateful to you his name is Tom uh, Tom Lund so I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly Tom uh, he is amazing because he basically said I have some vinyl for you he knows that I'm quite into vinyl and uh, he went and this is the most prized of the possession possessions I'm just basically going to tell you because he sent me a load of albums here and they're all Hendrix albums and they're in impeccable condition uh, they're all originals from back in the day I think he said lots of them came from the, around the 70s he bought them when he was here when he was younger he, he came to the UK and bought a few records so I have quite a, a few very special records here in my hand um, the first one I'm going to show you is the most special and I wanted to talk about it because I'd never actually heard the entire performance before which is crazy since I'm such a big fan of Jimi Hendrix but this is the Band of Gypsies and uh, what's even cooler is that not only is it an awesome album and an extremely defining piece of rock and roll history here but it's also signed. He had it signed to me uh, by Billy Cox and it says here to Adam Lee I think that says always the best or wishing you the best or always the best it looks like always always the best Billy Cox and uh, that's extremely special to me because uh, Jimi Hendrix basically transitioned away from the Hendrix experience uh, towards the end of his life and he formed what's known as the band of, band of Gypsies which was a bigger more adventurous sounding ensemble of musicians and amongst them uh, was Billy Cox who was the bass player and his grooves are some of the tightest, most amazing thing in that entire sort of period of music. And uh, so I think, I think he signed it to me. It's just ridiculous. So Tom, I'm so thankful. I can't, I'm thankful for all of these records. So I just wanted to start with this one because this is really, really special. And uh, what's even cooler to me is that I'm also a huge John Mayer fan. And on the Where the Light Is albums, uh, there is a riff that he plays with his trio set and I'd not actually heard the original I was wondering where the hell does that come from and uh, I've got a guitar here uh, I'm plugged into a Marshall to try and keep Hendrixy um, but there's a riff that goes <laughs> fans will know that that is actually a Jimi Hendrix original and that he played it live at Fillmore with the band of Gypsies and you can imagine how happy I was when I heard that because I love the John Mayer interpretation but the Hendrix one is just so raw and organic and incredible and uh, there are some amazing songs on here you just have to check this, check this album out it's, it's Hendrix the band of Gypsies um, so there's Machine Gun, of course. Uh, Changes and Power of Soul were ones that I'd never heard. I think Changes was written by um, Jimmy's drummer at the time, uh, who's now dead, Buddy Miles, and uh, it was ju it's just quite incredible. And Power of Soul was written by Jimmy, and in, in it he goes into that incredible riff. So you must, must hear this album if you haven't already. Um, I'm not playing any of it because YouTube are now so tight on copyright rules they'll kill me. Um, so I'm afraid. So that's why I've got guitar to demonstrate bits that were really special to me. Um, so there's that album. Other albums. And that, that time he sent me this as well. So everybody knows of the studio albums that Jimmy did. One of the most influential with Voodoo Child was Electric Ladyland. And... Most people will know it by the sort of cover of a, a red picture of him singing, kind of with the hair red and the face is yellow. However, something that was quite cool was that just at the time of its release, when J Jimmy was listening to the very first pressing, uh, vinyl pressing in the studio, uh, they brought him a cover, <laughs> which they had already designed, and he wasn't fond of. So he, basically, the very first vinyl pressings had this cover, and this is an original, which is quite special. And uh, this is the cover. It's basically a load of undressed women. <laughs> and they're, they're holding the Axis Bolt of Love 
cover over there and it's just really really cool that this is one of the rare originals that Jimmy refused and so they're quite sought after, sought after now and uh, here we have this amazing picture which is on the front of a compilation in, uh, called Experience Jimi Hendrix that I bought and that was the first ever Hendrix album that I bought and this was the photograph on the front and I had no idea that it was originally in this rejected uh, cover of Jimi Hendrix's Electric Ladyland so this is amazing and I should say that these vinyls all sound ridiculously good. They're all very early presses and these are British pressings. Um, they do sound fantastic. So thank, a big thank you once again, Tom. This is amazing to me. I've been listening to these a lot since I've received them. Um, another thing that he sent me was his copy of the Isle of Wight performance. Another sort of classic seminal piece of Hendrix that I'd never heard before. and. He was basically telling me that it's kind of one of those performances that, that received... Let's check. Yeah, sorry. So he was telling me that this was one of the performances that received a mixed reaction from the audience. And uh, it was his last performance in the UK, I believe, or something to that effect. And uh, I don't know, I was telling, saying this to Tom, but I thought this is one of his best. I just thought this was incredible. Uh, interestingly, this is one of the few that isn't recorded by Eddie Kramer, I think or that he didn't have a hand in it, if I'm not mistaken. There's another producer's name on here, Michael Jeffrey. Um, but I was extremely impressed with the fidelity of this recording as well. The guitar is huge. Um, it's kind of like, it's very difficult to get the mix of a guitar right, and that's something that's consistent over Hendrix records. And this was one of those that was really quite special. And the detail in the drums on this record is quite exceptional. So I do recommend you give it a, a listen if you haven't already thoroughly enjoyed this. All Along the Watchtower on here and Freedom, one of my favourite songs, were really, really great renditions, so I did love this. And very recently he also sent me um, a copy of these two, which I believe are the soundtracks to a movie called Experience Jimi Hendrix. And this one here says that the performance is taken from the Royal Albert Hall. Now I had a, a compilation disc that was from some bargain bucket shot a long long time ago and I had no idea what was on it however there was this song called Sunshine of Your Love everyone knows by Cream and so when I put this put this on I was amazed because I hadn't heard that since I was 12 years old and uh, well I, that's the first time I heard it I should say I've been listening ever since but um, interestingly one of my very earliest live performances on the electric guitar and on this particular guitar was Sunshine of Your Love, which I just thought was amazing that it's on the front of that, front of that, uh, you know, the first track on that record. It's just incredible. <laughs> So thank you again, Tom. Um, if anything, this is this is basically me saying thank you to Tom, but also also to t sort of tell you guys to, to check these albums out too because they are incredible. Both of these are amazing. A room full of mirrors is on here. That's also one of my favourite Jimi Hendrix songs. The guitar recording is exceptional. Again, it's really full sounding, and uh, no nothing goes without you know mentioning how amazing Jimi Hendrix is. He was 27 years old when he died, but in a five-year career, I believe, he, he established some of the most incredible influential music of all time. And um, that, really, that really does, you know, jog your mind a little bit, if anything, to think that someone can do something so powerful in such a short period of time. It's, of course, extremely unfortunate that we lost him, but in his five years that he dedicated to music, uh, he changed the sound of music that, as we know it today. He brought in the sound of rock guitar that just never existed before him. Um, so it's there is a reason that I love him so much. Not only that, but his feel and his touch is second to none. Nobody can sound like Jimi Hendrix. I've tried so many times, I just cannot, I can't sound the way he did. His phrasing is very slinky and very vocal and very, that he can make a one note cry like it, like insanity, like there's no other notes in the world that can cry like that. And I think that that goes to, just goes to show how amazing he is. And if anything, you really should check out all of these amazing albums. You've got the Isle of Wight, the Albert Hall ones, um, of course the Band of Gypsies, which 
this sleeve is extremely precious to me now. I haven't got a record in here just so I can keep the sleeve uh, safe. And also, Electric Ladyland, seminal piece of Jimi Hendrix's music. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd mention those quickly. Apologies for not having a video out in a long time. Um, I've just been overworked. You can probably tell I look horrific and I'm sitting here thinking, you know, just well, not even thinking I'm that tired. So uh, bear with me a little bit. I'm hoping in a few weeks I'll get some free time, in which case I'm going to put up a backlog of videos that I have ready or that need editing and stuff and maybe try and film a new one if I can in two weeks. And I'm back to PhD work again until the summer, and then I'm hitting YouTube full time. So uh, bear with me, I will be putting up more soon. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. An enormous thank you to you, Tom. I can't even begin to explain how much this means to me. It's, these are pieces of, just pieces of vinyl and paper that I'm going to treasure for the rest of my life. So thank you so much. You've added greatly to my collection and warmed my heart in the process. Thank you. And yeah, hopefully see you in another video soon. Peace out.